were just saying we've got some sloppy water coming up. The swell's starting to pick up a little bit over this bar, so just have to be careful. I reckon it's worse than what we're expecting. I think this is why people don't really come down around here. It's a bit harder to get out. This looks very sloppy. Yeah, I know. That's not look nice. <laughs> we had dolphins swimming on the front of our bow. Here comes a big one, Chris. Oh, Jesus. I oh, know. Jesus. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was that was big swell. They were exciting. <laughs> like there. <laughs> Gotta gauge that right. That was flat yesterday coming in. Look at today. I know. Oh well. Yeah, we'll wake now. Rod's out. Troll through that big stall of birds. Nothing. They must have died. I wasn't ready soon enough. I was having a snooze. Bugger. So this is the reason why we bailed on Walter Grave Island. You can see the alley cat over there with his 20 metre mast. And it disappears down some of these waves. And of course now I'm videoing, there's nothing, it's flat. Just past 8:30 p.m. Uh, we're sundown. Um, we're running out of light. We haven't quite made it into Coffin Bay. Our anchorage day at Watergrave Island was just too swelly. I couldn't bother staying there, and we banked on that as our anchorage. So we've had to really go hard. We've got two, two engines on, and we're pushing as quick as we can to try and get into Coffin Bay before it gets too dark. We're anchored here at Coffin Bay and we're just trying to get over the sandbar and up into the Coffin Bay Township proper. Um, it's a little bit shallow, the charts are saying one and a half metres, maybe one metre minimum depth um, at low tide, so we would just scrape over at 1.3, um, but Layla's got a little bit more draw. So we're just trying to get hold of um, Clint, who lives in the town here, we met his parents up in Broome uh, six months ago, and hopefully he can give us a little bit of advice and give us some leads on how to cross this bar and get into the main channel where it's deeper. So, just trying to get our anchor up. Can you point to the wind? And uh, it's really heavy coming up our anchor as well. And I've looked across at Pete and he's got the mother of all weed balls there. But we can't talk. Ours is reduced by about 100, three or 400 percent. That was trailing out the side here, way out past our hole out here it was just tons of it ribbon weed is a shit to anchor in <laughs> we got to get inside the bay and get out of this ribbon weed just go around point long nose 
So we're finally basically in Coffin Bay. It's a lot of shallow areas. Shallow water alarm again. Again. What, what was the lowest we got to? 0.5 under kill. Low was almost kissing by. Oh, very tight. So we're having to watch our tide to get in. Oh, there's a few sailboats around. It's a huge amount of water, but very shallow. So Coughlin Bay is known for their oysters. Just going past some a lot of oyster areas. Your favourites, oysters. Yeah, not a fan of oysters at all. But a lot of oyster beds here. Do a lot of farming. And as you can see, it just goes for miles. Yep, anchor's up today. We've just, um, just heading right into Coffin Bay town proper. So we've our way the last bit. We're over the real shallow bit, luckily yesterday. So we're off and heading in. So very interesting naming this place. We're not sure who it was, but guessing Matthew Flinders, but we've come around Seastick Bay, down into Coffin Bay, around Misery Point, through Thorny Passage, heading into Coffin Bay town proper. They obviously weren't very impressed with this place and didn't think much of it. So we're in at Coffin Bay, but big sandbar just here and there's not a lot of room to the other side so I'm not sure where we can anchor here it's really quite tight not a lot of room we're just going heading in to explore Coffin Bay been a long time since we've been here. Not quite a great place to tie up. Look at the barnacles on those. Yeah. You won't pull the boat, we're too heavy. Can you get in or not? Or is it too soft? Oh, that looks gross. Oh, yuck. You're gonna get that much further. Right, you're gonna get out, Jay. Nah, not happening. That looks disgusting. Yeah. Ready? Am I in the middle of a boat enough? <laughs> don't Pickle. break, don't break the paddle. We're getting closer. <laughs> so we've just tended in to the Coffin Bay Yacht Club. Go and get a happy air drink. Quite handy, the IGA, brand new. It's only across one row of houses. Yeah, that's the closest food shop we've got to. And see all the oyster farms out there. How good is this view? Yeah, it's all very... Yeah, it's good for the boat, man, isn't it? You're eating bacon and snot. Oh, yuck. Oh. Chris, you want a video? I can't do this. You're a video, isn't it? Mmm, mmm. Well, they're all really good, ain't you supposed to have it with it? Mmm. Cool. That's good. Is that good? Oh, well, that's the main thing. It should be good. They're supposed to be known for their oysters. Mmm. But, um... Look how little they are. It's what we were getting. <laughs> so today's project is we're servicing our dive compressor and we're repacking the carbon uh, filter. So we've just lifted it out of the locker. We lift, use our spinnaker hand lift to lift it out. So I've just loosened the cap off. So under here is where our carbon filter is located in the bowers. These are the same for the juniors as well as 
for the Poseidons. This is identical. And here is our stainless steel packable cartridge. So we'll go back inside now and we'll go give that a service and repack it. So they're the standard power cartridges um, that are quite pricey and this is the repackable one that we just took out. I just remembered it's under spring tension. I need to take that off. That's the bit that holds it. Okay, just bang it. There's the molecular sieve. And we'll tip the carbon. Black on black. Didn't look too bad to be honest. Now we repack it. Okay. Sit back in. A um wadding. Okay. Molecular sieve. Wadding. Oop. The mesh for the push. Bang it to the yeah, the spring will give it some tension and it'll tap it. If I've got too much, I can't push it. If it goes too easy, I haven't got enough. Well, that's about right, actually. It's pretty good. We've guessed that pretty well today. Okay. Spring clip. Yeah. That's all clean. It's ready to go back in. We get clean air for breathing, for diving. All right. Let's go reassemble. It's all good. And back she goes. Now this is very strong because this is pumping at about 3,000 psi. So if you have a look on YouTube and you look at a pet bottle exploding at about 100 psi, you realise the force at 3,000. This is extreme. I have heard of tanks exploding that weren't in the old aluminium tanks and people losing limbs. There was a recall on them a few years ago, quite a few years ago now. Okay, I'll just give that a nip and then we'll start her up. Gen set's running. Kick her over. Job done, filled with tanks. So the dive compressor is quite noisy, which is up the front of the boat. I have seen options that have them fitted under our seat here, the helming seat, but then you would be listening to that noise. So what we've had done through the dive shop in Brisbane is a super long fill hose. So everything stays at the front, gen set, dive compressor, and we just fill sitting back here in nice quietness. So I'll just give her a bit of a, bit of a bleed. So on the tank, So we're good to go. Engage the compressor in, and now we fill the tank. And about 40 bar. He was nappy. So it takes about half an hour to fill the tank. It's not a real fast process. So we're just leaving Coffin Bay, and the main channel is uh, not hydrographically surveyed. It's wrong, so we're leaving out another escape passage. But we're just going out a little bit different path. And I reckon from our satellite, we should be tracking a bit to the right. And according to my chart plotter, I reckon we are right. Seems deeper over here than where it was. But I think we found the better channel. Perfect, we're out. Heaps deeper, look, it did. Touch bottom there. So we've left Coffin Bay today at lunchtime when we had enough side to get over the sand flats and we've just come up to Point Sir Isaac. Um, I'm not sure if this is Seasick Bay or it's just around the corner, but we're on the looking over on the beach and we've got an emu walking down, so we're gonna quickly run in and see if we can get a bit closer to it. So he's just in here. 
and he's been here for an hour or so now, so I think it's time to quickly go in and have a look. Yeah, look at that. That's just not holy dolly. Yeah, right, Chris. I don't think so. You got more chance to behind there. Yeah. You're going to have to jump out quick. Oh, oh my, oh my God, really? It's cold, it's cold. All this for an emu. Oh, don't let it hit it. Oh no. You guys another one. Why is that? Busy part. Leave your footprint. Do 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 Yeah. Look at the size footprint. Move from Coffin Bay into Point Sir Isaac or sometimes Seasick Bay, and we're planning off for tomorrow's launching to um, start again. My mouth's burning, Joanne. 